Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to blend images and specifically how to... Uh, let me clear this before. Let me show you here. Is uh, This is from the Selisky book that I told you in, the, in a couple or three to four tutorials back. Uh, it, this is free. If you go to, to this page right here, um, you can click it and you can get a free download and you it's a really good book I if I don't if you don't have it get it I mean it's free he was kind enough to make it available uh, for free and in this uh, in chapter 3 he, he's talking about image blending and, and how to take uh, two images or one image and one image and blend them into one and I, this is what I will be showing you today so let's get started the first thing we gotta do is uh, SSH into our Raspberry Pi. So SSH and then close this. And once inside, I got a second one open to give me more flexibility. So let's clear this. And I'm going to go in. And these are the ones I, I got started already, so I will do be doing it from scratch so you, you can follow together. So what I'm going to do, uh, I already did it here, but I'm going to do a new one. So, but before, let me make one here. I just wanted you to, to take less time. So make dear. from here so copy the C make list text copy the green JPEG copy the red JPEG copy the linear C++ file and copy the real Python file okay and I didn't where I was taking it, so I'm going to tutorial 7R. Okay, so if I check here, if I go to tutorial 7R, I should see this stuff in the newly created there, as you can see there. Okay, so let me just show you what I have inside the CMake. By now, you already know what what is in here is the linear blending the project name the open cv the linear blending i use usually i use the same name but uh uppercase for the executable and uh, and lowercase for the files and the uh for the open cv libraries okay nothing new we've been doing it all along and control x Now let me show you what the file, the uh, C++ file looks like. I'm importing the libraries, the I.O. stream for input output, the namespace, computer vision, the alpha, this is very important because it's going to be asking me to enter an, um, an alpha between 0 and 1. Okay. And is the console in, console out. It's going to give me the errors. It's going to read the JPEG and it's going to read uh, the red. Uh, the, it's actually black, but it's, it's, I'm thinking red delicious, but it's actually black. And it's going to show a new window called linear blend with the result. Okay, nothing, nothing too extraordinary. And let me show you 
actually let's start compiling and while it's compiling I can show you this let's do CMake to compile and I will show you here while that is compiling um, what what they actually look like CD let's make This is what they look like. This is the green one. And as you can see here, it's linking already. And it's done. It's, uh, it's built. So this is the green, the green one. And this is the, the black one. Okay. So I will end. Let me put this here for now. I will enter a different alpha so you can see uh, the, what the difference and what's going on. So let's. Uh, Let's look at the executable. This is the executable that it just created. So let's run the executable. And it's going to ask me for a number between 0 and 1. Let's do 1.25. And it's giving me the linear blend. As you can see, it gave me 1 closer to the black than to the green okay as you can see okay so if we close this one and increase the alpha let's do alpha let's run it again but this time I'm gonna enter an alpha of 0.5 you can see that it's getting closer to the green now it's on it's right in between the two between the black and uh, and the green as you can see okay and now let's do one we point seven five let's run it again but this time let's do point seven five and you can see it's a lot greener as we compare them we compare them it's a lot closer to the to the green all green okay and this is how the C++ code works uh, if you have any questions you go you can go to that page that I show you the open CD they, they have a pretty good explanation now let me show you what the the Python code does very simple not much there but uh, it's, 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 it's very few lines of code but very effective it's reading the the image the red one is reading the green and it's applying this add weighted function that it, as I show you in the they go into detail here and explaining it you have two choices you can either use this one or you can use that one and they do s different things go to that page and, and, and look at it is taking the these two ratios and it, these are these guys right here and this guy right here and it's take is adding add weight adding the weights of each one and it's doing the calculation and it shows it into this window okay but like I said if you have if you want to know more you can always go to that page and also go to that book yeah, chapter 3 is a very good uh, explanation there okay so let's run the python blending real pi and it's not running and why it's not running a PNG I think so uh, yeah one of them is a PNG oops S sorry guys I forgot I 
have a when you have so many images you lose track control X let's try again and it should work and it's working as you can see it's, uh, it's more or less the 0.5 that we saw before in the C++ code but now it's, uh, you can change just like we did with the, with the C++ file you can uh, you can uh, change the the code and uh, adjust it to you can adjust it here for example you can go instead of 0.7 let's say you can do 0.3 and instead of 0.3 you can do let's say 0.5 let's see what happens I haven't tried it doing it that way but let's see and as you can see it's a lot it's a lot lighter now okay but you can play around with the code and um, and go to that page and you'll see uh, a great ways of how to manipulate images okay this is the end of the tutorial if you like this tutorial like I always say please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thank you for watching bye bye